Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to this amazing Wednesday, which is impartation and intercessory prayer. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice in it and be glad. I don't know about you, but even though this day has been a long day, <laughs> uh, we are coming with you today to encourage you, not only to encourage you, but to impart wisdom and strength as well. Absolutely, we have an amazing, amazing guest. And I don't really want to say a guest, but she is uh, one of pastors, our sisters in Christ and in ministry. Her name is Elder Paulette Davidson, and she is coming from Harvesting Ministries. And I'm going to go forth and open up her amazing screen so we can see this amazing, beautiful, shiny face. Praise our God. You so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing shiny face though. Yes. Yes, yep. yes, yes, yes. Hi, brother. Listen, hello. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, on, on your countenance, the spirit is also showed too. So we still have a you know nice and shiny face. Right. Spirit is clean. You know, you know, they you know. Yeah. Is it clean? Right. <laughs> it's too hot for makeup. Listen, praise the Lord. <laughs> Bare face boots is what y'all getting, right? Now. Listen. <laughs> listen, y'all getting wraps and bare face. Okay? This is the type of year it is. Wraps and bare face. Sweet, sweet. Listen, listen, but listen, it's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. It's beautiful and amazing. Oh, yeah, so, absolutely, we are today. <laughs> Uh, bombarding heaven, and we are imparting uh, a prayer and sister prayer in our loved ones today. And so, today, prayer topic hallelujah, glory be unto our God yes. is living beyond the moment. Yes. We are praying and we are, are, are imparting to you all um, strength to live beyond the moment of making good choices and also making sure that you know your life, your life have a purpose. You have a purpose. You have a purpose in this life. And so we are praying and, and imparting a wisdom of how to, not but on how to, but just being conscious of, of knowing that you have a purpose in God and knowing that, hallelujah, that whatever you do can affect a delayed, and what God has given you and what God has called you to. So before we press forward, absolutely, I give all my amazing sisters and brothers in Christ time to introduce themselves, even though they've been up here many and various of times. But I give them the opportunity because they have amazing ministries as well and they're doing great things in the earth. So I want to give my sister, Elder Paulette, uh, a, a couple of seconds to introduce herself and, and her ministry and all that good old, good old jazz. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, <laughs> good evening, everyone. Um, again, I'm not a stranger. I'm family. But I'm Elder Paulette Davison again. I am the CEO and founder of Harvesting Ministries, which is a holistic uh, spirituality ministry where we do things outside the box. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to announce that I did just launch my website last week. So you can Google HarvestingMinistries.com. Check it out. I do spiritual trauma services, grief and trauma counseling, spiritual direction, spiritual cleansing. I am Reiki 2 certified um, as well. So I do that as well. Um, I do it all. <laughs> you name it, I can do it. Um, and I'm pressing forth in this season um, to a higher vibration and then just following spirit to do what I have to do. Um, I do do live streams as well, like this on Facebook Live. I'm on vacation. Praise the Lord. Yes. <laughs> right now, from June and July, until Spirit releases me to come on back. Um, but I'm still doing work in the vineyard. I'm still doing work. So I'm happy to be here, of course, and talk to you guys, see what's going on, see how you know we can be that vessel to help you get to that either next season, next level, next assignment, whatever it might be. Amen. Amen. And uh, I definitely appreciate your ministry. You are really a blessing the community and all of us. I mean, every morning when you did your, uh, you know, your, 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 your encouraging words and the music, I mean, it was, it's a blessing and definitely I know God is blessing you with that. And so I know you just said you're on sabbatical, which is needed. Right. And so yeah. we're going to talk about that too. Right. 
Yes, come on. Let's right. Talk. Sweet, sweet. Right. Right. I'm ready. It's needed. It's needed. It's needed. It really is. Amen. So, um, living beyond the moment, Elder Paul, Elder P. Living beyond the moment, and so I'm gonna bring this up. Living beyond the moment is to live in the moment or now. Means being conscious, aware, and being in the what? Present. Yeah. It means not dwelling on the past, nor being anxious or worrying about the past. Mm -hmm. That's good. So I'm going to stop right here. Again, welcome you all for joining us. Love Center yeah. in Protection Intercessory Prayer Wednesdays. Of course, our lovely, amazing uh, uh, intercessor prayer warrior is Elder Paulette Davidson from Harvard Light Harvesting Ministries. We want to say thank you so much for tuning in and those that are going to tune in in a few yeah. or in the future. Living beyond the moment. We are our prayer topic today and our imparting wisdom is living beyond the moment. Again, the definitions are below. So, Elder Paulette, living beyond the moment. Mm. What, mean, it, a what, question. <laughs> what 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 is it what is it to you because i know a lot of us and and you know in this world you know of course you know everybody's striving to get to a particular goal in life spiritually right. physically right. mentally um and um acknowledging that we have to live beyond the moment because if we don't a lot of things can suppress us. Right. A lot of things can stagnate us. And right. so what can you say to us about living beyond the moment personally? Like what, 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 what can you offer? Well, I would say, you know, first of all, it's that's so broad, right? Um, it is. And first, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, spirit. I'm going to break it up to where are you actually living? Right. Um, mm. Sometimes we can be existing, but we're not living. And, and I say that in a controversial way of being in the now, you know, are you so into a routine that you're just existing? Like, oh, I'll wake up and go to work and I take the kids, do this, blah, blah, blah. But, or are you living in the moment of, oh, in the future? Okay. I have to meditate first. I need to pray. I need to be able to center myself. That's when I feel like you're really living, right? You're not just existing, but you're living. So before you even get to beyond the moment, <laughs> I challenge you to ask yourself, are you actually living? Are you actually setting goals and achieving them? Are you doing your aspirations? Are you where you're supposed to be in your five, 10 year plan? Or are you stuck, stagnant or comfortable where you are because if you are then you're not actually living right so for me living means that i'm aspiring to do what the spirit inspires me to do within my whole lifestyle that's careers my goals my family me as the individual me as the woman you know how i define myself those is mm -hmm. what i see as living yeah for me again people who are existing again are just going in the motions and going through the motions but they have no voice they have no goals they have no aspiration they have All no the desires to do more <laughs> too sweet so that's someone yeah. existing so if you are living and so let's talk to the folks who are living right we talk about what existing is so let's talk to the folks who are living if you're living that means you're going beyond what is in the natural and you're exceeding in the spiritual Again, I, I'm apologize if I'm going too deep. Tweet, tweet. Um, oh, no. The theologian in me, but um, shout out to H U. But if you're living beyond the moment, that means you're living in the spiritual. You're living in beyond what this is, and you're trying yes. to see where you need to go. You're trying to understand where spirit is trying to lead you and guide you. That's living beyond the moment, not taking literally or taking um, so personally what stresses or triggers and things that come to you and being able to brush them off or have peace about them. Because you know, with your faith, you know, within your assignment, you know, within your gifts, hey, you're taken care of. Like, I'm okay. This ain't all right right now, but I'm not going to allow this to affect me because I'm living beyond the moment. And mm -hmm. if nothing else in the pandemic, we should have learned how to live beyond the moment. 
what other things that can we do? And I love how you have here, it says means being conscious, aware, and being in the present. So yeah. many times we are so stagnant of existing because we're living in the past. We are anxious because we're having fear, doubt, and worry, or we've been traumatized. I just had a conversation with a friend the other day. You are traumatized, some people are, because they don't even know what healing is. They assume because it happened and it's over and they're moved on to the next thing that they have been healed. Yeah, that's not healing. Mm. You got to deal with your stuff and sit in it some and go through that painful process in order to get beyond the anxiousness, the worrying, and the past. So that way you live in the present. So you're not just existing. So I, I would put that as a two-point question of, are you actually existing or are you living? And then if you are living, then now what are you doing beyond the moment of what's going on? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you said, are you existing? Mm. Or are you living? Or are you living? And I think that question can signify purpose what is your purpose right what is your purpose what yeah. what 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 has god called you to do knowing and that's again we always talk about that you got to know what it is you're doing and again it doesn't have to be so elite right you might not know for the rest of your life or you might not know mm -hmm. for your 10 year plan but you should at least know for tomorrow <laughs> mm -hmm. or you should at least have an idea about your gift you know what are you talented in and it doesn't always have to be spiritual whatever talent okay. gifts you have that are organizing or the job you have clearly you're good at it because you have a job or you're there whatever right. you're good at that could be the gift that god has given you and that could be incorporated within the purpose on why you're here so Amen. are you taking that and doing your best with it and exuberating yourself or are you complaining murmuring and upset because you think you're not living amen 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 and so living is important and as you were describing existing and living i mean it even came to me where people of god I feel as though at times we can be in autopilot that's good and we can be in autopilot because of like you just said earlier the trauma of the right. past the hurt of the past, which which incur, which <laughs> which causes anxiety, worry, doubting, and so people of God, we really have to choose to make sure that we do the work, right. praying, you know, fasting, you know, th therapy, absolutely therapy, Everything. you know, um, you know, with ourselves or our loved ones or those that are in our life with us, so we can move past the autopilot. So we can move past that the existing. Sometimes it comes from forgiveness of us forgiving people and letting things go, but letting letting it go the correct way, which is dealing with what has happened and 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 working through that processes. Right. Right. Moving forward, your life has a purpose. I I felt something right there. I felt that. Your life, people of God, has a purpose. Yes. yes. Mm, that's good. Because some people don't think they have a purpose. No, that's they don't. Right. Even though they smile and they look good and they post the selfies and they out having fun, some people really think they, they don't have a purpose. Yeah. They think that there's no reason why they need to be here. And yeah. that's not true. We all are predestined and created organically for something big, small, mm -hmm. it does not matter. That's why the insect, think about the insect. Let's take, let's take it down. Let's take it down. Yes. Think about the insects. Every insect from them stupid decaders. They, that they have here, a purpose. And everything has for spiders to the everything, even though we don't like them, they're creepy, they're crawly, the snakes, the, the rats, the whatever. Everything has a purpose and it's living purpose. It's not a dead purpose organism but it's a living organism that has a purpose that means it has a heartbeat it has a, 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 some type of brain or mind it, it's just in a different structure that is not organically what we would say human but it doesn't mean that they don't have a purpose 
That that's what amazes me. Animals have a purpose. Eyes, I mean ears, a heart, I mean everything in them is something that's of a living being, big or small, ants, bees. I mean, it don't matter. They all have a purpose. And they serve some purpose for our well-being as a human species that we don't even sometimes understand or even know what they're doing in the background. In the background. In the background. We don't know what them little cicadas be doing under there um, for 17 years. Yeah. Between, yeah. But they be doing something. And I'm sure it's yeah. something that helps us and enriches us. Yeah. Ants and everything. I mean, our dogs, I mean, everything. Again, every little thing, snails, I mean, worms. Mm -hmm. I mean, every Everything have a purpose. Fish, ducks, I mean, it's crazy. Yes. Even, think about it. They might not be communicating as we do, but they can communicate and they are living. Amen. And I want to break that down. You said, you know, even even the cruddy and the creeping and crawly has a purpose. Every so let's so let's bring that into our life. Even the trials and the and the tribulations and and, and and the losing people in our lives and right. and leaving people in our lives and and uh, getting a job or a job not working right and that 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 you know um, leaving. Everything right. has a purpose. Everything. Everything has a purpose, which means there's a step further into what God has called you. Right. And for there's this purpose time. within the, in the process, right? Yes. Because everyone's purpose of living things are a process. Yes. There's a yes. process of them getting older. There's a process of them growing. There's a process of going. And within that, I heard you say living. If you have breath, you have a purpose. If there's breath in your body, there's a purpose. Mm -hmm. Big or small, mm -hmm. does not matter. There's some type of purpose. There is. So that's why I pose the question, are you existing? Are you living? Because if you're not acknowledging that you're living and that you are a living being that takes for granted the breath that you receive every day, effortlessly, then you're not going to understand what purpose it even is or, or, or why you need one. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you, you just said something is created. So a purpose <laughs> below <laughs> the reason for which yeah. something is done or created or for which something is created, which I think is overstating, but right. something that is created, Elder, something that is alive. Yeah. Everything, and it has to be alive. It has to be. I don't know anything that's dead or dormant that has a purpose. Once it's dead, it's dead. Like, if you look, you know, even as we're in our homes, at your dresser or your bed, they serve a purpose, but a living yeah. thing had to put them together. Yes. To give you the purpose for the use of the furniture. Something living had to orchestrate in their mind first the vision, and then they had to construct the actual object of the being for it to become into fruition for us to see it to know that we need it in order to serve the purpose in our home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Pastor Marvin says, and purpose comes comes with favor. It yes. comes with favor. Yes, uh, Pastor Marvin. <laughs> and so, you know, being favor is a blessing too because you don't even ask for it, but it comes on you because God has ordained you for such a time as this. Right. You know, we are predestinated. We are predestined people. Right. You know, you know, God knew this was going to happen before we even knew it happened to ourselves. Right. And so people of God know that uh, your purpose has been predestined. Know that whatever that creepy or call it thing in your life has been predestined to help you get stronger, to grow right. stronger, to help someone, to right. be, to be. Just to be, to be, to be here in general. Again, every breath you take, <laughs> when you don't say thank you, <laughs> and you just keep going and you just wake up like it's just supposed to be natural. <laughs> and it's not. And, you and, take it like for granted. That's what you're doing. And, you're it's not, for and it's not living beyond the moment, people of God. Living beyond the moment. Living beyond just thinking that you can... You know, okay, well, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. Yes, yes, right, absolutely. Right. Everyone can do, you know, what we want to do. We're grown. Um, you know, right. and at the end of the day, you know, 
our decisions do have consequences. And so let's speak on that a little bit, Elder, Elder Paulette, of, of how, you know, us, absolutely, all of us are flawed. Absolutely, all of us are flawed. That's why Jesus came and died. Ha! Because that blood is that grace, that right, blood right. Is that mercy that keeps right. us, and and, and, and and the Lord is a forgiving God. Right. And so, but at the end of the day, knowing that our decisions can also stagnate our purpose. Yeah, that's good. That's our good. decisions can stagnate our purpose. Mm. It, it, it can, it can um, allow that promise to come to us at a certain time. I know like in the Bible, you know, with Moses, you know, for them to go into the promised land. Right, exactly. You know, they he didn't. They to each other, they getting distracted, getting disappointed, and it messed up everything that was supposed to go on for 40 years. Oof. Jesus. Just imagine if you are not self-aware or conscious of the choices and the decisions that you're making, how you could stagnate yourself mm. from receiving what you were already was supposed to given to you, was already predestined for you, but you get stagnant from receiving that because you, you made the wrong decision or the wrong choice. And now mm. you're still, now you're waiting 20 years. Now you're waiting 15 it's adding on time to your life and journey because you did not want to be in alignment or you didn't want to be obedient or you didn't want to take the time to hear or you didn't want to sacrifice. I mean, this purpose thing that we talk about is not just about, oh, who did the magic? You know, I know my purpose and I'm going to do this. It, this is a process. And sometimes when the process is going, the storms will come where you're distracted you're disappointed, you're hurt, um, you're tired. I mean, so much can happen. But are you still willing to go through the process for the purpose? Or are you going to make the choice to be like, oh, I'm over it. I'm done. It's too hard. Mm. But then you crying two years later, like, well, why didn't I get this? Yeah. Yeah. You, you so people, yeah. Say it again, Elder. I said you didn't want to go through it. People don't want to go through stuff no more. Let's just keep it. No. It, it, and um, and Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, right? Tweet, tweet. Um, and I didn't have my yes. Wednesday today. Let's just keep it real. Some people don't want to go through the hurt and the pain of the process. That is true healing. Healing is uncomfortable. It's unbearable. It will feel like you lost a limb. That's what it means to go through the healing. And the healing process to get to the purpose Ooh, is not beautiful. about them, but it's about you. Yeah. It's not about how they hurt you. It's not about what they did to you. It's about what you allow into your circle, into your life, and then what you endure. And what you endure is something you still got to work on and you got to heal from. Because that endurance, when people are doing those or situations happen, they leave something. It's like they deposit something. And mm. that deposit it, that they did on you was not meant for you. So now you have to figure out how to release it and to disconnect from it spiritually. Just because they're gone or situation's over and you're done does not mean that it's not lingering in your spirit. Because it's still there. Because it's still there, people of God. And 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 that is why it's very important, people of God. Again, thank you for joining. Um, we're of course uh bombarding heaven and imparting wisdom on um right. living beyond the moment, living beyond some just living beyond a decision, right? Living right. beyond living beyond you know that particular thing that can overtake you, but right. you you have purpose. So be conscious, people of God. Like start taking time to be conscious of what this decision can produce, what kind of fruit it can produce what kind of tree that's good this fruit is going to produce and bear because wherever that tree pluck up wherever that wherever tree you plant whether right. it be whether it be whether it be judgment being judgment judgmental whether it be uh 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 being um uh uh angry and staying right. angry hatred you know right. whether it be you know doing things that you know you shouldn't do um that that tree's going to come up 
However, absolutely, we can go to our God and say, Lord, we forget, Lord, please forgive us. But also the fact of making sure we're conscious, okay, you know what, I, I can't go back to that. I can't do that because this is going to stagnate what God has allowed me, placed me in the earth to do. Right. And within that, you have to uproot. That tree Stop planted, it. But you need to uproot those roots. And if you know anything about planting trees or doing gardening, it does not take a day, but it takes some time, especially if the roots are deep and they're really soil underground to really get in there to dig it up to harvest it to come on out. You can't just cut a tree off at the ba at the base and just think that's it. Because the base is the the stump is still there, so the branches of the roots are still in there. If you want to remove it, you got to go deep. Mm. If you want to remove those things that have been deposited on you or that you've been through, you're going to have to go deep. Do some deep work. You're going to do some deep work. Listen. Oh, Jesus. That's I'm good. Not anything I haven't been through and going through. So I keep it real 100. Real. But my friends say real, raw, and righteous. That's what I do. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, in, in, in life, people of God, you know, there are things that we really have to overcome. And the only way we can overcome is by being real with ourselves, by being real and by being real with the situation at hand. And really, <laughs> my Lord, it's coming again. Living beyond that moment. Mm -hmm. Living beyond that moment because God has something for you. Right. You're going to get there. Absolutely you are. But... The process may be long. The process may be hard. Right. It depends but, on you how the process is going to go. Yes. It just depends on you. You can be your worst enemy or you can be your best supporter and advocate. What is the story in the Bible we can just give examples of? Uh, of course, we just stated, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 Moses. Moses and how it took him so long to get to the promised land because of the disobedience. <laughs> Abraham. Yes. Abraham and Hagar. And Sarah. Lord no. And Sarah, yes. Um, that trio right there. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, because Sarah didn't want to believe. So, you know, she made her husband sleep with the side chick. Let's just call that what she was, Hagar. Yes. Um, yeah. And then they act like Ishmael was not the firstborn, which would be the promised son. Because Isaac came from Sarah, but they both were lineages of Abraham. Mm -hmm. But because they disbelieved, mm. we're talking about Sarah and Abraham's disbelief. They both had disbelief. Hagar was just the person in the mix of this trio. But um, the promise and the word was spoken directly to Sarah and Abraham because of their disbelief and not having enough faith to think what God said was going to happen, they decided to take things in their own hands. Into their own hands. Yeah. I mean, which I calls a whole a, a whole mess. A whole and, and, mess. Hey, a whole, lean to the desert by herself. Ishmael baby. She don't got no money. She ain't got no <laughs> she don't got no food stamp. Look, she don't got no social security. She don't got nothing. Listen. Abraham trying to go after her. Sarah don't got no remorse. She's talking about she gotta go. But you you told him to sleep with. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so actually, so again, again, people of God, we're stating that <laughs> decisions. Listen, they are decisions. There's, there's consequences for those decisions, and things can happen longer. What was it, Jacob and Esau? I mean, look how long it took for them to come around to actually bond back together because of him taking his birthright. Come on now. You know, brothers going at it. And we always kept seeing twins or brothers going at it from Cain and Abel. It was something in the dynamic that Spirit decided that, you know, brothers, siblings or twins, they're always going to be like, you know. And so then we wonder why we're like sometimes with our siblings. It, I mean, it, it's been a natural habitation of what spirit put in the atmosphere since the beginning yeah. Yeah. so i mean this is why we have these problems but we have been so manifested in um theology or or or, or scripture or knowing to know better 
that we should be able to choose better and do better and not use the cliche like, oh, you know, they did so-and-so to me or did it. You know, when are you going to grow up? Who's going to be the big person? When are you going to grow up? Just grow up. And I wanted to say, when you were saying something, I heard mirror. Yes, uh, I heard mirror. You got to do that mirror effect. It can't always, and me and my girlfriend talk about this all the time, it can't always be the other person. You have to look at yourself in the mirror to say, what about me attracted this? What about me um, went, wanted to accept this? What about me went through this? It's a mirror effect. Because that's when you start getting to your roots. When you're able to mirror what was in you that even you saw in that other person that or thing that you shouldn't have had, then you're able to get to those roots to say, oh, I don't like that. I didn't even know that was down there. Ooh. Let me go ahead and take care of that. Let me <laughs> let me get this together because I don't want to be people. Is that what people see? Is, is that what they think of me? Mirror yourself. Mirror. Mirror yourself. My Lord, Mary is. I love that. I love that. I love that. Mirror, 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 mirror yourself. Mirroring yourself. I'm trying to say it the correct way. Also calls you to look at yourself, like you just said, but it calls you to do. It causes you to do healing, self-healing. Yes. It causes you also to see the things that that you are producing. Right, right. What other if if you produce, come on now. I wanted to say that. Uh, listen. Okay, I'm gonna say it anyway. If you produce, do not assume that every season is a production season. My you. Lord, no, it's not. It's not going to come up out of everything because you wanted to or you think it is. It's not. Those cliches of the old doctrine, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, is gone and old, okay? In reality, it's not it. Some seasons need to be stagnant and dry. Some seasons need to be just sit still. Some seasons need to be harvested and rooted. You got to figure out what season you're in before you try to live beyond any moment. That's what you need to do. What season are you in? Because while you're over here thinking you're supposed to be producing fruit because your homeboy and your homegirl are producing fruit, and now you're jealous or envious of them, it is something big going on. My Lord, that's good. Tweet, tweet. That's good. People of God, seek and know what season you're in. Come on, somebody. Seek and know what season you're in. And do not be dismayed. Do not be jealous. Do not be boastful or, or envious if this is not the season for you to bear. Mm. Do the work and go through the process. If this is your season of illness, it might be your season of illness. If it's your season of desert and dry, it might be your season of desert and dry. Sit with that and stop looking for others to give you the explanation when you're not going to spirit who is the one inflicting you in the first place. My God, my Lord. My Lord, and that's good. And, and and that comes to this before we pray. Faith. Yeah. It's a substance of things hoped for and everything's the not seen from God. God. Mm -hmm. Faith is hope and belief. Right. Hope and belief. And the evidence is the production of what is being produced after your after your hope. Mm. After you holding on to what you know that God's purpose you to do. That's After true. you have went through that season, mm. come on, either drought, sickness, pain, glory God. Mm. Our faith is us holding on to something that we don't physically see, mm. it's what we actually believe, mm. it's the words that God has given us. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lead not to that own understanding. And in all. Acknowledge him. But also trust in yourself. Let's talk about that. Speak <laughs> on the elder. No, How are you going to trust in the being and the spirit of the entity, even of the Trinity, if you don't believe in yourself? My you Lord. You don't believe in who you are. You don't believe in the things that you say at your mouth. You don't even want to look in the mirror because you're disgusted or busted with who you even are. If you don't have that self-love or preservation to even love yourself and trust in yourself, then how are you trusting in spirit? You're living a lie. I'm sorry to say it. I'm, I'm, you know, you might not invite me back, but um, you're just living a lie. I'm just gonna put that out there. 
you have to be real and raw with yourself as well. Yes. Do that mirror and trust in yourself. Trust that you have the gift. Trust that you can follow the voice. Trust that the dreams are for some reason. Just trust, trust in yourself. I believe in, in this spirit of relationship of faith. It's about a, a relationship. It's about uh, um, being embodied with the spirit of knowing how to really trust. Think about it. if I just trust in the spirit and I don't trust in myself, how are you evenly yoked? How are you in one it, it, as one? You can't be as one because even in the scripture, I know it says about, you know, the bride and the groom and, and has they come as the church. But I believe that's really coming of the embody of the spirit. We could be the bride and the spirit, the groom. We have to be that embodiment of being evenly yoked in this type of marriage relationship. To be able to really trust. And we gotta be, it's like an embodiment. We have to be as bride and groom, not saying in the physical of oh, I'm not married or oh, I'm single or woe is me or divorce. No, no, no. I'm talking about in the spiritual. Who are you married to? There we go. Praise the Lord. I, I felt in the spirit. Who are you married to in the spirit? You can claim one thing with your mouth. But if you're not believing in that heart, there's the scripture there. Believe in that heart and trusting in all your ways. That means you have to be married to this thing. It ain't just about saying it and doing it and living, but you got to be married. That means y'all going to have your ups and downs. Y'all going to have your arguments. You're going to love it, not love it. I mean, that's that, but that's that real raw relationship that you should have with spirit. And again, that's a, a, a self-individual thing. That's not nothing that someone can give you nor teach you. Mm. That's yeah, thing. it's an individual thing, and it comes from within. Within again, but not not time. external, but internal. Mm, that's good. Stamina comes from within. That's good. Perseverance comes from within. Mm, that's good. So you mm. have to you you have to build that up in order for it to have it. Right, and want to do it. Yeah, that's the Marvin said. Real raw with yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna say she's a real raw and absolutely real and raw with yourself. Absolutely. Sweet, sweet. And, listen, uh, you know I keep it real. When I come on here, I don't know no other way to be but myself. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Not only yourself, but but the word is the word, and 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 and, yeah. and wisdom is wisdom, right? I mean, it is. you know. You're not we're not sugarcoating anything. We're coming to help someone. Yes. We're coming to encourage someone, and we're coming yes. to a lot of people to think. Yeah. Um, but not judge. Also, I, I hope you know absolutely you not. Caveat, that people don't think I'm judging or that I think I am above and beyond because I do not. I am nearly the vessel um, that's speaking from spirit directly every time I come on here or in general and, when I do in life. And so in like, general, yeah. Direction, like you said, or encouragement. But again, that's when you know you have relationship because you should be able to take the criticism or the feedback from spirit. If you couldn't take it from anyone else, you should be able to be smacked on the head or, or whatever it has to be from spirit. Cause that's how we grow and that's how we learn. We expect our kids to do it when they in school. And when we teach them and raising them, we smack them when they do something wrong because we're doing it for their betterment. We're doing it that they'll learn to be better and, and know in the future and all that. That's what spirit does to us. We are spirit's yes. children. Yes, 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 yes. So let's move forward into prayer. We are going to pray for you all. We're going to uh, bombard heaven to, to ask God to give you that strength. But not only that strength, but also that 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 the educated response of you know living beyond the moment. Right. Of right. being courageous and, and, and holding on to your faith and pressing in, um, holding on because knowing that your decision. Can stack them what God has called you to. Yeah. So, Elder, Elder Paulette, we're ready when you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. Glory to God. We thank you, Father. We thank you on today. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Father. We thank you for breathing breath in our lungs, Father. I give honor and praise to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I give honor and praise to my ancestors. I give honor. And praise, Father, to our Arishas, to our angels, Father, to our spirits, God. Father, I give honor and praise to all of that. For we know 
what we want to do, but we might not know what we need to do. So I pray, Father, on this evening for those who are under the sound of my voice to be able to feel the release of the anxiety that they've been having all week. I'm praying, Father, for the release and the comfort of your hands to come upon them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Father. I'm asking that you take the time to open their chakras to be able to feel the energy that you're trying to give them. Let them be able to understand the wisdom of what it means to be living and not existing. Let them be able to understand what their purpose might be if their gift. Father, give them the unctioning of those who might be procrastinating, those who might think they don't got enough or they don't got it all. I, I can hear and feel in the spirit that those who might be saying it don't take all that. Father, I'm praying that you give them the holy boldness that they might need in their sacral. I'm praying for the holy boldness in their throat chakra. I'm praying for their crowns and their third eyes to be open to see what you are calling for them to do in this season. Father, we know that we have been through some stuff. <laughs> we have been through things that don't make no sense. We have seen some things and we've got an understanding, but we also know, Father, that you are still on the throne. You have not left us. You have not forsaken us. Father, you are still there, even in the midst of the chaos and not understanding what's going on in the atmosphere. You are still around taking care of things. So help us to be the vessels that you need us to be in this season. I pray, Father, that you open us up like never before. Open our ears, open our hearts, open our minds, open our beings to really dive into this relationship of trusting, not just you, but trusting ourselves. Show those who need it self-love. Show those what it looks like to love on themselves, to, to be gentle with themselves, to take time off with themselves. Father, I pray, Father, for those who are stuck in routine, that you will be able to give them the breaking that they need to be able to sit still. I pray for those who need a vacation that it might be able to come and dwell in the next two days. I'm praying, Father, for those who are going through the illness that the revelation of the understanding comes to them in their mind. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. That you have your way, those, even those who think they have no purpose. I pray, Father, that you remind them because they're living. He because there's breath in their body. He there's a purpose to be had. He let them walk in their purpose. Let them manifest in their gifts. I pray for the spirit of abundance. He I pray for the spirit of finances to be able to be growing. The, the understanding of saving, the understanding of, of financial uh, stability, the understanding of growth in businesses. I'm praying, Father, for a shift in the atmosphere. He come on, 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 see it. He shall, but on, on, see it. There's so much going on in, in the interim. There's so much going on behind the scenes that people are starving. He come on, 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 see it. In the spirit, I can see them wanting more, but not understanding. So I pray, Father, that you order their steps. Give them people to be able to show them where to go. Let them be able to understand that certain doors that they're going to walk through might not look like what they need to look like, but they need to trust that they're supposed to walk through. He called banana CA. He saw banana CA. Folks who are want to go higher, folks who need a higher vibration. I'm praying in the spirit that you be able to elevate them, Father, to see things in the different light that you're calling them to be. He kabororo siye. He kabanana siye. He kabanana siye. Ashanana siye. I pray for those to live. He kabanana siye spiritually and to not die. He kabororo siye. Unless the death is for growth. He kabororo siye. Kanana siye. He shabororo siye. Kanana siye. Kabororo siye. Live and not die. He kabororo siye. 
And Father, I, I want to breathe. I want to breathe life onto those who feel like they're not living. I want to breathe your spirit into them that feel like they cannot hear you anymore. I want to breathe. Breathe in the healing and the mobility of their limbs. He see He that from today, even on the replay, they shall be different. Meet them where they are. He see In Jesus' name, Ashe. He nana see, he shabaroro see. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He nana see. Bless your name, God. Mm. You speak strength in you all's life. Mm. You speak perseverance in you guys' life. Yeah. You speak the spirit of tenacity that you'll be able to stand under fire, fiery trials and tribulations or situations, realizing that you have purpose. Yes, yes. You have purpose. Yes, God. You were created for purpose. Mm, mm. Hallelujah. And we speak that your purpose shall be fulfilled in Jesus' yes. name. Yeah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. Any last words, Elder, before we end mm. this broadcast today? Because this was good, and I, I don't want to add nothing else because the meat has been prepared for the table. Listen, it definitely has. Um, just rest. Amen. Just rest. Some of y'all really need some rest. I mean, like, turn the phones off meditate play the music learn how to turn your mind off but rest for real like really i just can hear and see space get rest mm. Mm. a lot of you guys are laying down because you just can't get up you're just laying there and you keep saying oh, i gotta get up i gotta get up but you're laying there and you're laying there for a reason because god needs you just to rest you have to let god just breathe and touch on you but you need that rest embrace it Amen. before you can exist before you live you can you might be existing so you got to figure that out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. amen faith is such of things hope for people of god and the evidence of things not seen until then Stay faithful, stay prayed up, stay stay working toward your purpose and and be cautious the decisions you make. Amen. Amen. Be cautious with the decisions you make uh, because that can stagnate your purpose. Until next time, you be blessed. You and, um, thank you so much, Elder Pullet, for joining us today. And of course, we will see you next month prayerfully. Yes, tweet tweet. <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you all, Facebook land. Stay encouraged. Stay blessed. Amen. See you soon. Bye-bye.